Good morning. This is Robert Carl CFC and bringing you this morning's market update. Looking at US markets, the US 500 removed any gains it had made for the 2016, dropping 79 points on Friday after the shock victory for the Leave campaign, closing on 2026 spot 88. The US Tech 100 declined 192 points to close on 4,268 spot 88 while the Wall Street slumped 616 points, closing the week on 17,339. Commodities, on the other hand, had a mixed end of week, with gold rallying $48.20 to close on $1,315.70, as investors rushed to the safe haven during a day of turmoil and shock. Meanwhile, Brent crude declined $3.70 to close on $48.44 a barrel. In Europe, the British pound and equities are sliding, while haven assets like treasuries and gold are surging as investors continue to fret about the UK's decision to leave the EU. After Friday's vote, it's Bank of England Governor Mark Carney's turn to choose whether to leave or remain. As he marks three years atop the UK central bank this week, the 51-year-old Canadian will realise his credibility is in question after Britain's pushed aside his repeated warnings over the economy and voted to quit the EU. The Germany 30 declined 833 points to close on 9,416, while the UK 100 dropped 254 points to close on 6,015 spot 3 on Friday. Yet again, Banking, stocks and house builders are the worst hit. Barclays dropped 5.8%, RBS was off by 6% and Lloyds was down 3.2%. Taylor Wimpy, one of the worst hit stocks on Friday, dropped another 3.2% this morning as the state agents Foxton's plunged by 20% after issuing a profit warning following the UK's vote to leave. Sterling, however, did take another big hit following its largest ever one-day fall on Friday. The pound was worth one spot three four two seven dollars in early morning trading, down one point eight four percent and back to its lowest level since the mid nineteen nineties. That's all for this morning's market update. Thank you and goodbye.